Gave through gold funding, I didn't found two church buildings that we want to have deliverance services in. And I don't believe in being no scam artists. There's too many scams in the in the church lying to you. All they want is your money. I don't believe in being no scam artists. So you want to know where folk money going at. That's why a lot of folk can't trust so many pastors. It's about oh, sending my gold funding. And they're using the money for liquor. And hauling around with prostitutes. I'm talking about preachers doing this. Time for the preachers to repent. You say, Lord, forgive me. He'll forgive me. If you got a problem with lust, you say, Lord, help me. If you got a problem with pornography, say, Lord, help me. Because the devil use lust. But the devil knows what you like. Here's a pretty woman. But she's a witch. Who needs a switch? Get that witch out of your house. That's why bad things happen to you. You're married to the wrong woman. You're married to the wrong man, to the wrong woman. You didn't know she was a witch when you first got with her. Then all the evil side comes out after you don't get married to her. You got to be careful. The devil come pretty. The devil come handsome. The devil knows what you like. He come tall, handsome. The devil come pretty. Look for the inner beauty, not just outer beauty. When God gives you a wife or a husband, they got the inner beauty. They love Jesus. Now you can love each other. Love God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, that all these things shall be added unto you. It's time for the church to start acting like the world. Too many women coming to church half naked. To my you an evangelist and missionary. You don't got to dress half naked to get a man. You're already beautiful. One time there was a woman one time in church had a skirt way up here. And they got mad when men started lusting with put some clothes on. But since your body is a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. The Bible talks about dress codes. And somebody said, well, the Bible said, come as you are. We're not talking about sinners. Come as you are. God will change your heart. But we're living in days you can't tell the church from the world. Going to church now is like going to a club. Half naked women, men of the men of the trying to get old pornography. He trying to get saved, and now he come to church and got to look at half naked women. The man trying to get saved. You can't invite these brothers from the street in your church. And all kind of mess is going on in your church. The church got to get it right. Pastors got to get it right. Pastors being playboys and pips in the pulpit, and having affairs with another man's wife. And, oh, come on. I don't go to everybody's church. I got to be led by the spirit who church to go to. The devil got churches and God got churches. Actually, we are the church. When God is in your heart, that makes you the church. When you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. We got some real churches. Nobody's perfect. So I'm not saying every pastor is phony. We got some real men of God. I want you to encourage the men of God. Keep on preaching the gospel. I want to encourage the women of God, keep doing what God has called you to do. Keep up the great work. We're praying for you. We got to encourage each other. Pray one for another. The world is getting worse, but even in the time of trouble, God is still working miracles. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're praying for that drug addict who wants to be saved. We're praying for that depressed woman that depressed girl who wants to be saved. There's those who got molested and raped and sexually abused. We're praying for them right now. That God will heal their broken hearts. Somebody wants to give up, don't give up. Break that yoke off that person. Break the stronghold off their life. The devil got a stronghold on them. Satan, loose God's people in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of God's people. In the name of Jesus.